I wasn't going to do this today, but I, I got inspired. So, the phenomenon of being the smartest person in the room. That is, you know, I think when I was a lot younger, like when I was in my 20s, for sure, just being in, like, being a programmer among other programmers, like, the way that you sort of got status was literally by being the smartest person in the room, you know, knowing the most things and being, you know, just being smart and being able to show the demonstrate that you were smart. And I probably gave that up. I mean, I think I was probably like 27 at the oldest when I sort of decided that that wasn't actually a good strategy. Because, you know, nobody likes to be, I mean, unless you're in that kind of competition, nobody, nobody likes to be the, you know, just one-upped all the time. Especially, like, useless, like, stuff that doesn't matter, nobody cares. And it's funny, I remember sort of being accused of that a few years ago and I was like like dude you, you're off by like two decades and uh, I realized that uh, it was just a room full of dumb people it's just a bunch of dumb dumbs and so I mean the, the funny thing about it is that you can sort of trip the same response just by not sufficiently you know, flattering the people around you to make the dum-dums feel smart. But in general, like, you don't want to be the smartest person in the room. You know, I think that the, the maxim, you know, if you, whatever, how it goes, like, if you're the if, this, if you turn out to be the smartest person in the room, you got to pick a better room. But I'm thinking about this because recently I have had to deal with another person who definitely insists on being the smartest person in the room. And I mean, I, I, I found it sort of uniquely grating because, again, it's like, well, actually, her, 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 you know, this sort of attitude of, of, you know, I'm going to pick at, you know, something like that you said or whatever. And it like, it doesn't matter. Like it, it doesn't matter what, like the distinction is irrelevant. And if you were the smartest person in the room, you'd be able to tell. So you, we don't need to have this conversation. All you're doing is wasting everybody's time. So, you know, it's a, it's a tightrope, I guess, would be the way to, 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 to characterize it. And you're, I don't know, though, this is the thing, is like, like, being smart. And by being smart, I mean knowing a lot of things, knowing how to do a lot of things, getting results that you know, actually function, being competent, you know, that kind of stuff is like, yeah, like you, you want that. And I think that, that is part of the, uh, the conundrum because like, if you're going to be the smartest person in the room, then you damn well better perform. I'm trying to make a sort of empathetic connection here with my earlier experience where I actually was trying to be the smartest person in the room. My later experience where like I had given that up for like a very long time and was never the less accused of it anyway. And this recent experience to try to sort of tease apart the distinction and I think it, 
it really is just a matter of understanding the job understanding the task and if the job is to flatter dum-dums by pretending to be a dum-dum and like not saying things like don't say big words because the dum-dums are going to get scared and they're going to feel dumb and they're going to get angry then um you know maybe pick a better room but like if you're in a room with smarts, don't try to be the smartest person in the room. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee.